unyielding on. All right, here with reaction, two of the lawmakers who wrote the letter to the Attorney General Jeff Sessions, Congressman Andy Gibbs and Congressman Matt Gates. Congressman Gates, we start with you. Let's talk about this letter. This is important. Absolutely, Sean. And in the swamp of Washington, D.C., Andy McCabe was one of the Loch Ness monsters. And there is a report in final form prepared by the Office of Professional Responsibility that details the basis for firing Andy McCabe. And we believe that the Judiciary Committee and that the American people should see it. Because when we synthesize this report with what we've learned in congressional investigations about Andy McCabe's office potentially being the very place that Peter Strzok and Lisa Page hatched their their insurance policy. When we saw the emails from Andy McCabe saying that the Hillary Clinton email investigation would not be conducted by the Washington field office, but it would instead be, be sent up to headquarters for James Comey and Andrew McCabe and Strzok and Page to do their deep swamp activities. This is information we've got to know because it's going to help us find the other swamp creatures that need to be driven out of town, potentially in handcuffs. Congressman, well, you sound like a reporter. You're ending your report. <laughs> Back to you, Sean, in the studio, but uh, well said. I'm, I'm not, I'm just with you, but uh, Congressman Biggs, let, this is too important. Let's get to what you're saying. Yeah, let's, let's be, be honest here. We have people being charged and indicted by Mueller for these process crimes um, or for lying to the in investigators in the Mueller investigation, and that's what happened here with McCabe. And so not only is he the center of the whole thing going back at Hillary Clinton's investigation, but then he comes up and he's lying and he gets terminated for that. And now the, the other side, the press is out there saying, oh, this is a, uh, you know, he just needed a few more hours until he could get his, his pension. That's not what's important. What's important is he be treated just like any other person in America. We're, we're a rule of law country, and he needs to adhere to the rule of law right. just like everyone else. Uh, and Congressman Gates, why is there the mysterious reluctance and resistance of, uh, especially Rod Rosenstein, why is there this resistance? He was begging when when Devin Nunes uh, had subpoenaed the documents. He's begging in the final hours. Oh, please, Congressman Ryan, Mr. Speaker, don't turn over this information. Let's not let the American people see about how corrupt the FISA warrants were in the case of of Carter Page and the Trump campaign. And oh, we didn't tell the judge that Hillary paid for Russian lies in the process, and that became the basis not only for the original application, but for subsequent applications on three occasions. And by the way, Rod Rosenstein approved one of them, at least, maybe two, and he's the guy that then appoints Mueller. If that's not a conflict, I don't know what is. Well, you're right, Sean, and there is a troubling allergy at the Department of Justice when it comes to transparency. They're fighting against every effort by the Congress to show the American people what's really happening. We've requested more than 1.3 million records in the Judiciary Committee. We've gotten only about 3,000 of them so far. But this should not be in dispute. This is not a draft work product. This is a final that indicates that the deputy director of the FBI had engaged in such political hackery that he had to be fired before his own resignation. To suggest that that's not a document that the American people deserve to see is ludicrous, and it's this type of stonewalling that has eroded the trust of the American people and some of the very folks that we need to be able to rely on most to keep the rule of law sacred and preserved in the United States. All right, Congressman, i got to thank you both for what you're doing. We appreciate it. We now turn our...